What's going on guys? In the living room today, this is gonna be a short clip. I'm gonna have to stick it in a vlog somewhere, probably for the one for this week. Um, big shout out to the guys at CTS Turbo. Um, I bought the CTS Turbo intake from Euro Tuning, and for whatever reason, uh, I didn't even get a, I didn't get a sticker, which, you know, I like to rep the brands that I use, whether it's gonna be on my car or a toolbox or whatever the case may be. So I reached out to the guys over at CTS Turbo and I just sent them an email letting them know and then um, I believe it was Clay, Clay at CTS Turbo. He got back with me, I think it was the next day or the same day in the afternoon and was like, hey man, uh, buy a sticker. That way I know I'll have your address and everything like that and I'll send you out a care package, maybe even a t-shirt. So I came home today and look what I found. A box from the guys at CTS Turbo. If you can see that, there they go. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Now, normally I would use my trusty steak knife, but I don't want to. If I do this nice and easy, I can do this without probably cutting whatever's in. <sighs> Hold on. Staples make a big difference. <laughs> Pack and paper, of course. Okay. CPS turbo lanyard. Plate frames, because my Simply Clean one is broken. CTS Turbo shirt. Too damn fast. That is nice. Put that on the couch. And a bunch of stickers. That's cool. We got white. It looks like black. Two black and white. Now, I'm big on customer service, so, you know, whatever the case may be that the exhaust didn't, the exhaust, the intake didn't come with a decal, um, now I have cool decals, and I actually like these, I actually like this a lot, and I like that there's black ones, so I could have them on the car, but they don't stand out like white ones. These I'll probably use on, like, um, toolbox or something like that. The lanyard's always cool to have. The license plate frame with the shirt. I appreciate the shirt. That is a good look. So thank you to the guys over at CT Turbo, CTS Turbo, sorry. Um, I'll put a link in the description to their website, to the parts that I have. And I'm pretty sure, like I said in the past, I'm going to be using their products on the car as far as uh, performance mods go. And yeah, I mean, how could you top this? This is great customer service as far as I'm concerned. So till next time, I'll see you guys in the garage. Peace. All right, guys. Well, I finally received another piece from Europe today. When rear window wiper delete. That's what we're going to do now. Um, the battery is low on the camera, so I'm going to just walk you through the main important steps to get this done. This one is going to be pretty much just take the wiper off, glue in the plug, and we're done. Get the motor out of there and everything else. So it shouldn't take too long. Um, I think the weather will hold, so let's get started. Basically what we need to do is take off this black back plastic piece so we can get access to the motor and then once we do that we can get to the front and take off the wiper arm and then glue in the glass plug. Real simple, 
real easy. All right, so there's some major clips. I believe there's gonna be one, two, three, four up here. But what you might not see and notice that there are two T25 screws, T20, sorry, screws in the recess here. Don't forget to take those out. If you forget, then the panel is just literally not going to come out. So let's get those out. Once you get these out, you can continue popping the clips. That screw literally fell in the one place I can't reach. Right underneath the car tire in a crack. I'm gonna have to move the car forward to get to it. So let me go do that now because I don't want to forget. Alright, now you can go back to finishing popping the clips off this rear panel. Alright, congratulations Volkswagen for making literally the hardest panel I've ever had to remove from a car my goodness well anyways now I have access to these panels I can actually put the control boxes for the tail lights in a better spot probably up here somewhere with more tape so all right with this free I can now loosen these bolts for the wiper motor is three bolts Looks like tens, three 10 millimeter bolts. Disconnect the wiring. Then disconnect the wiper arm on the front side of the glass. And then this will just pop right out.